hope you're all well. And before we get started with this week's video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your extremely kind comments on last week's video, which was like my summer beauty routines, which featured a bit of everything from like at home IPL hair removal to how I solved my problem of extremely cracked heels. Um, it's a very sexy video, I'll link that up there for you. Um, but your comments were just so kind, so I thought today I would go for like the sleek hair vibe again, and mainly because it's just too hot to spend any time hair styling, so I just put a bit of straightness through the end and was like, yeah, I think we're done here. Um, but this was another recommended video that you guys asked for, and a few of you asked for a summer redo of a video that I did back in autumn that was like a shopping my stash video where I didn't spend a penny, I just went through my wardrobe and found five new outfits. And I showed you everything to do with that process, from finding the inspiration to tweaking it to like fit my taste, using things that I actually have in my wardrobe, and then the end result. And it's just a great thing to do from time to time if you're feeling a little bit like Ugh, with your wardrobe. The chances are that you don't need to buy anything new, you've already got things in there. And it's just a really great feeling to like haul from your wardrobe and feel a little bit refreshed and like you have a couple of new outfits under your belt. So that's what we're going to do today because as you guys know, summer dressing really ain't my thing. However, I'm actually over the moon with these outfits and I cannot wait to share them with you. So on to outfit number one. So all of these outfits come from Instagram because that is just where I go when I need style inspiration. I'm feeling like low on creativity juice. I just follow so many different accounts on there. Food, fashion, lifestyle, makeup, a bit of everything. And the fashion accounts that I follow just provide me with so much outfit inspiration of like how to formulate different outfits, different silhouettes, and especially when it comes to creating my capsule wardrobes, that is where I head for maybe certain items that my wardrobe is lacking in. So you guys know that I love the saved feature on Instagram. So I've basically just gone through my saved photos, had a bit of a scroll and found five things. I'm like, yeah, I feel like these are outfits that I could actually cobble together with things I already have in my wardrobe. And the first one is from a lady called Leia. And um, I will link all of these accounts down below for you because they're all really amazing accounts to follow. Especially if you're into very simple Parisian style dressing that's all just very like minimal and subtle. And um, this is a fab account. And I saw this photo and I was just like, oh, I absolutely love that outfit. I know it's so simple, but it is the fact that you're wearing something paler on the bottom than you are on the top. Like normally you'd be wearing a black jean with perhaps a white shirt. So I just like that this outfit was kind of flipped on its head a little bit. And I sort of had these things in my wardrobe already. I have a straw bag, I have a black t-shirt. And I will say, I actually haven't showed you these jeans yet, but I did buy them a couple of months ago to replace a pair. I had a white pair of Topshop Boutique jeans from last summer that I loved. And then I sat in a load of red ants, like just poof, down I went, red ants all over my butt, impossible to get the stains out. It just wasn't happening. So I repurchased these jeans. They're from MIH Denim. And I have a feeling they're in the ASOS sale at the moment. Great news, but they're very similar. They're just a, a straight leg, creamy white denim. And they're actually quite stretchy. They're stretchier than the Topshop ones. So I do prefer them. Um, so I'm just gonna wear them with those. And then I don't have any ballet flats. For me, ballet flats are just not a thing. I've got boat feet, they're long, very long. And so instead I think I'm gonna go with a pointy flat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you the end result here. This is such a simple outfit, but I just think it's gonna be something that's so easy to wear and I just love all the colours, I love how it goes together, I love how it gives me the push to wear these white jeans and also not to do white on white which is, um, you'll see later on the video, which is what I tend to do when I'm wearing white on the bottom half, I tend to go for white on the top half too. So I feel like this is just a little bit different. Um, the t-shirt is from weekday, I've had this since we lived in London, so I've had this for about four or five years. One of my favorite t-shirts, I'll link it down below for you, it's absolutely great. Um, these are from MIH Denim and they're very stretchy, which I really appreciate. Tiny bit see-through as most um, white denim is, so I'd recommend nude big pants or thongs underneath, you'd be fine. I'm wearing the Sam Edelman um, pointy woven slippers, you know, the Chandler flats. I just absolutely love these. And then this bag, annoyingly, is unbranded and I got it at a Boots event, which was very kind of them, thanks for it. And we were asked to fill it up with samples and I think I put one thing in it and just really appreciated the bag. Um, a friend says she's been to a market and found a similar one for literally a tenner. Um, so if I can find something similar, I'll link it down below for you. But I like the size of it and she's kind of wearing it on the crook of her arm in the photo, which I kind of can do with this. I think I'd more wear it here, but um, it's good to have the option. So yeah, just a very 
simple summer uniform that I could see myself wearing a lot. Now this second outfit, when I saw this Instagram, I was just like, holy cow. She looks incredible. I love that outfit formula together. It's bizarrely something I've never worn, even though it's so simple. And it does include a blazer, which seems a bit nuts because it is summer dressing, but in the UK, we either have a heat wave or we have torrential rain. There's kind of nothing in the middle. And especially in the evening, it's just nice to have an outfit that you could throw a jacket on, in case it gets a wee bit nippy. So this outfit is from Alex from iCovet V. I absolutely love her videos, her style, her Instagram, everything at the moment. I am just super, super into it. She's just got a taste and I'm like, yes, I'm feeling it, girl. You look great. And this outfit, like I said, it's just very simple, very subtle, but very clean and classic. And I don't wear grey t-shirts very often because, you know, the sweat patches. Woo! They're record-breaking. However, I do have an And Other Stories t-shirt that's actually quite baggy in the underarm area, so it's not too clingy, so I can kind of get away with wearing it. And you know what? We all have sweat patches. Who cares? It happens, and I'm kind of getting over it as I get a bit older, which is great news. I'm just wearing a grey t-shirt. I'm going to wear my AYR um, blazer, black blazer that I've had for quite a while, some jeans, some flats, a bag, and I feel like it's all about the sunglasses, and actually I've been wearing my black version of my Dick Moby CPT sunglasses, that's what they're called, I'll link them down below for you, everything will be linked down below for you, as per usual. Um, I only own two pair of sunglasses, I own a tortoise shell pair of them, and a black pair of them, and I feel like the black pair of them will just really finish off this outfit. I think with a blazer this probably is more of a transitional outfit rather than a summer outfit, and I know it seems like so, so, so simple, but it is the fact that I've had this grey t-shirt for yonks, but just haven't been brave enough to wear it. Um, so I'm wearing my Topshop leopard print slides, which I love, I got them last year. The Topshop raw hem straight leg jeans. This is a AYR blazer. The gray t-shirt is from And Other Stories and I've got my Alien Nina rope bag, which actually, a word on this glorious bag, my friend from Pilates has it. My little soft stretchy foot rolling ball, which just popped out, but put it that way. And my friend from Pilates has this and she's attached a long chain um, so she can wear it over the shoulder too. So it's a bit of both. She just attached it on the um, on the actual kind of rope, like hooked it in. And I thought that was very clever. Um, but yeah, I really like this outfit. I know it's not the most summery thing in the world, but I feel like it's just a very simple outfit that I could get a lot of wear out of in lots of different occasions. And it is just working up the courage to wear grey. <laughs> so thanks for the encouragement, Alex. You guys know that I love Lizzie. Lizzie from Shop From The Street is just one of my ultimate girl crushes in all ways. I've met her many times, she's an absolutely lovely lass and her style is just, again, just has gorgeous taste, I'm into whatever she does. Um, but in the summer she does this gorgeous thing where she dresses head to toe in white and it looks lovely. And actually last year I sort of found myself doing a similar thing because in winter I tend to do head to toe black so I feel like head to toe white is like my summer version of that. And it's actually something I feel very comfortable in except for when I sit my ass down on a whole family of red ants. That isn't so great. And so I do have quite a lot of white pieces of clothing in my wardrobe. So this look was quite easy for me to recreate. I don't have a pair of baggy, like linen type um, shorts that she's wearing here. So instead I'm wearing my Levi's, are they called the boyfriend shorts? Something like that. Um, I'd recommend sizing up in these so you get that sort of baggy feel and it's not so like woof tight on the ass. So the outfit that I've come up with has a slightly different silhouette because of those. And then just wearing it with a big, baggy white shirt. I've got one from And Other Stories. It works really well for this, um, but it works well with my equipment. Silk one as well. It is just such a chic look and I love the head to toe, just all white, and I'll either be wearing it with white slides, black slides, or leopard print slides, or maybe my tan um, YSL slides. Um, I just feel like it's a really easy outfit to wear, something I feel very comfortable in, and very holiday appropriate too. And here's what I was saying about wearing all white. I just love it, it's just my comfort zone in the summer. If I'm not wearing all black, all white seems like the logical choice. Um, so this is a And Other Stories oversized shirt. There is absolutely zero reason me ironing it because it just gets creased kind of immediately. So we're just going with creased kind of vibes. Again, with the Alien Nina rope bag. Oh, so versatile. Uh, these are Levi's boyfriend fit shorts, I think. I have these about three or four sizes bigger than what I would normally go for. So they're a little bit baggy, but it means that there's a little bit more length on them. My butt doesn't hang out the back and they're not too 
clingy. They're kind of a bit more of a boyfriend baggy fit, which I appreciate. And then I'm wearing them with the YSL sandals. And yeah, I just feel like this is a very easy, summery, nice outfit to wear when you want to be a little bit casual but a little bit more formal. There's something about white shorts that feel a little bit more dressier than like a blue denim. Um, but yeah, I really like this outfit. I wore it out the other day and felt super summery. Let's have another chat about Lizzie and actually Lindsay from Ropes of Holland who again is a mega babe, met her, she's great. They're busy mates, they both have absolutely stunning style and both of them have been wearing these just like not crop tops, but they're these vest tops, these ribbed vest tops that cling to the body. And I just feel like it looks really cool, as in actually something that would be cool to wear <laughs> when it is really hot. I, like I said, I've got a couple of camisoles, I'm wearing one of my favourites now, um, and I do have some vest tops, but I wear them all to bed, and they're just a bit grim and gross and sweaty and kind of deodoranty under the armpits. So I will admit that I did buy one thing here. I bought one thing, and I think it costs six pounds. It's from Topshop, it's a vest top. And like I said, there's no real one image for this. It was just this idea of wearing these tight fitting vest tops that are so easy to tuck into jeans because there's no extra fabric really to do that with. And they're just very form fitting. And you know what? It's not something I would normally wear or feel comfortable in, but I'm like, screw it, you know what? I'm 28, if I wanna get my back out, my arms out, a little bit of chest out, I'm gonna do that. And I've actually found myself, I mean, I wore this to the doctors the other day, um, I found myself really getting into this look, and it's just very comfortable. Um, I don't really tend to wear a bra with them, but that's because there is nothing to see here anyway, you very easily could, if you need a bit more support in that area. Um, but yeah, I just feel like both of them are really rocking that trend, and I know I said I wasn't gonna spend any money, but I feel like six pounds is kind of allowed to buy a basic that you know, you're gonna wear time and time and time again. One thing I would say, I have found with this, I feel more comfortable in a black vest top rather than a white vest top, because otherwise there are nipples just like poking through Jennifer Aniston style, which is something that I personally don't feel comfortable with, but if you do, be my guest, I think it looks absolutely fab. So it's just something a little bit different for me, something that I wouldn't normally be comfortable with, but I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Go for it, trying to increase that body confidence, which is always a good thing. And yeah, I really like the silhouette, so thank you Lizzie and Lindsay for like giving me the push to give something new a go. So like I said, this wasn't based on one image per se, more just the idea of wearing these tighter vest tops with a high waist denim. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pair it with a heel, just to like see what it looks like. And I feel like this would be such a good kind of Friday night out with your friends, having a few drinks, maybe you end up in a club. I know, granny me ended up in a club the other night. It was so much fun. Um, or just like some nice drinks or something. So I've gone for this Topshop vest top. Like I said, this was the one and only thing that I bought for this video. The back is extremely low. And then um, Topshop jeans, again, these are the raw hem straight leg jeans, the Alien Nina bag. Again, these are leopard print Janvito Rossi's. Um, I wore them on my wedding day and I love them. And I wouldn't say I've got like a load of use out of them, but if I'm wearing heels, I'm wearing these. And um, yeah, I just feel like this is a good kind of slightly dressier, slightly more party outfit option, but then you wear it with a flat, you know, it's a bit of a different vibe. The inspiration for my fifth and final outfit again comes from Leia, and I found this beautiful picture of her online that's just her wearing a striped blazer, white jeans, looking really cool on her parquet floor, yep, yeah, parquet floor, oh, beautiful. And again, like I mentioned with blazers, I know they're not the most classically summer thing ever, but I feel like they're just good things to have to throw on over the top. And I just really like this image, and I was like, yes, I have white jeans, I have a striped blazer, and then wearing the vest top that I've already bought, again, some slides, again, a little bag. I just feel like this was kind of a cool outfit to wear. It would be something quite nice to wear for an evening out. I feel like when it's all paired together, it's like a little bit more elevated, a little bit more polished than what I would normally wear. And also just getting use out of that striped blazer because I love it, but I do find something so structured quite difficult to wear sometimes. I prefer something a little bit baggier to throw on, a little bit more like a denim jacket or like a leather jacket. Um, but yeah, I just love this whole outfit. And um, yeah, if I could have parquet floors as well, that would be lovely. Mark's just got back from work, so if you can hear faffing around, that is him. But this is the final outfit. And I tried it on with lots of different shoes and these are just the best shoes with the white espadrille top top sandals that I have. It was just a little bit too like white on white on white. I feel like actually the top shop, these are the leopard print slides that I'm wearing. I feel like these break it up and it's quite nice to have a bit of pattern on pattern. And then with the texture as well, 
it's just something a bit different. So again, the Alien Nina bag, I mean, it's just boring now, but it's just such a great bag. And then this is from Topshop. I showed this in my summer haul that I got. This is the vest top again, the white jeans. Um, I've actually rolled them up a little bit because they're a little bit too long for me, but I kind of think I'm gonna keep them long because then that way I can wear them with heels as well. Um, but yeah, I just think this is a very summery, easy to wear outfit. I will take off the jacket and show you what it looks like without. It looks a little something like this. It's a little bit more booby because I've because the top is slightly cropped. I've had to like pull it down a bit, but it's fine. My nipples are still in. Um, but yeah, again, just a very summery outfit that's a little bit different for me, but still very much within my comfort zone. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this and hope it gave you the oomph to like go through your wardrobe, find something new. If you need to spend six pounds, I, I feel like that is allowed if you do want to do the whole vest top thing and your vest tops are a little bit like yellow under the arms. I feel like that is a purchase that is allowed to be made. But yeah, I'm really happy with all of the outfits that I found here. So thank you to the lovely ladies for the inspiration. They will all be linked down below for you and all of the items I've shown in this video will be down there as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your love on the podcast at home with. We had Erica Davies on this week and she is just so blooming chic when it comes to interiors. She's both Lily and I's interior crush and um, so definitely check that out and we've got a brand founder coming up next week. Maybe it's something to do with nails. Just want to throw that out there. That is a really, really cool one coming for you on Wednesday. Make sure you're subscribed so you can hear those episodes when they are first uploaded at the crack of dawn. Um, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Oh, summer skincare routine coming then. You asked for it, you're getting it. I'll see you then. Bye.